Hey coders and gamers. Someone asked me after my uh, C Sharp game trainer video about what kind of things I build, so I'm throwing up this quick video to demonstrate a recent project of mine. So here's uh, another little game save viewer editor that I've made, and I've made a lot of these, but this time it's in WPF. And I gotta say, man, do I love WPF. Like, where has it been all my life? I need to show this off to you guys because you might be amazed like I was and what WPF can really do. Um, it's really, really powerful, and it has a ton of stuff you can do with it. And, you know, I've heard that before about WPF, but I've never seen anything other than, like, basic forms being created. I don't know. Maybe I didn't look hard enough. But, so this, this is my first WPF that I've ever made, and it's turning out, like, awesome. Like, I love it. Uh, now, I'm not counting all the handful of WF, WPF apps that I've made for games that, uh, well, anything I made before, because those are, like, they were basically a win form. I just threw on some basic controls and it looked like a wind form. It was just styled slightly different. So those don't really count. I had no idea what I was doing. Such a shame because this is awesome. Check this out. So this thing is pretty sweet. Like <clears throat> everything I'm doing here, I am mimicking like what the actual game does. Uh, and this is a work in progress. So I bet some WPF gurus out there can help it a lot. But this was like me basically not knowing anything about WPF and cobbling this together but it's pretty sweet. So what I did was I created this trainer to mimic how the actual game menus work and it was pretty simple. So this is Final Fantasy X2 if you don't know, uh, if you're not aware. And I made a viewer and trainer because this game jaded me. Like I painstakingly made it through this game because I'm a Final Fantasy fan and you know, I, another person that just did not like the game at first kind of grew on me later just for the combat system or whatever, but regardless, hated it the first time I played it. But I made it through, and I had 99% at the end. Oh no, not going to fly. Not with this completionist, perfectionist, no way, not with my OCD. So I rip apart the game, reverse engineer it, find out how all that story percent is calculated, how it works, and then I make my tools. I threw up a little website page for people to upload their own saves, like me, see what they're missing. Seems this game bit a lot of people, and they, you know, they couldn't tell what they were missing. So, I know, I know the feeling. Anyway, let's take a tour of this thing. Um... I've got almost everything I want out of it already, but I'm going to be adding in a couple more sections. I grayed out all the sections I haven't completed yet, but uh, let's just load up a save. I have a default one here. So it does some basic crap. This is probably a, uh, a hacked save. Well, I didn't hack my gill, so maybe it's not. I'm not sure. It's I had a bunch of like fake saves in there, so never mind if my stuff looks weird. Anyway, if you see the shadows, how they move every time I'm over like an element, that's actually something the game does, so I'm just mimicking what the game menu looks like, which is pretty sweet, um, and it's pretty easy to do, so let's just go like here. Now as you see all the animation come in, that's what the game does too, all these elements like fly in like that, and they fly out when you're done. And that's I was actually pretty easy to do in, in uh, WPF, and I was really excited that it was that easy. I've got, I can use my mouse wheel to scroll down and look at the items. Ooh, unfortunately, I have almost 99 of everything, but... Let's go in and change something like, um, yeah, I used one silk is green, so I'm going to go in here and I can use my mouse wheel in here just for convenience sake. Change the item if you want, but I'm not going to, um, so it changes. Or just hit this quick button, hit all items, and then now everything's 99. Uh, so that's pretty basic, but mostly I built it for the story completion. Now this part looks kind of ugly. You guys have to excuse me because this isn't a menu in the game. I didn't really know how to stylize it. This is me trying to use a, um, I think it's a tree view, sorry, yeah, it's a tree view in the game's images, which was kind of a pain to throw together, but I got it. Anyway, this will show you what you're missing, just like my other apps or the website if you upload your save. So here I can see I missed, oh, I remember doing this. This was uh, when I was capturing the game saves, actually, and I missed this one right at the beginning of Chapter 5. Um, so it tells you the, if you're familiar with my other um, apps, it tells you what line triggers that story percent that you didn't see. This is like when Buddy's in the airship in the engine room. It's really easy to miss it because like the guides don't go into it very well. And there's my one flag missing, so everything's 0.2%. So I can double click on it, and now I'm at 100%. I remove that. Here are some unknown flags. These are basically what I found is there's extra percentage if you do different things, like not helping Tobley in chapter one you can't get like 100% if you don't do that, but you could get extra percent in your next time playthrough and all that stuff. And like, yeah, capturing a different person for that chocobo thing. 
Well, I got about that far, and I'm like, I'm not going to go through the rest of the game and figure out all these, like, all the variations. Like, I'm done. I just want to be, I just want to throw this up. It's for people for 100%. Part of me wants to find out, but, you know, it's whatever. So those are just unknowns in there until I figure out what they are. Um, requisites are just, I don't know, they're like things that could trigger a percent later, like Chapter 3 is seeing all the comm spheres installed. I don't know what Chapter 5 is. Oh, four whistles heard of the far plane. Yeah, it's like the very end of the game. So anyway, that's that. You can also hit complete all. And then there's 105%. Technically, the game will still only tell you 100. But they have 525 flags, and you can actually get over 100%. So anyway, equip section again, under construction. Actually, I'm not even going to put a equip section here. I don't know what you would want to do in here. It's probably, I'm going to have to remove that. I think I just copied the game uh, menu layout, and like equipment makes no sense. Oh yeah, I forgot abilities off to add in. And then the minigame and side quests. I don't know why I made those two different ones, but uh, config will probably be not the game config, but actual config of this app, maybe. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. But anyway, a couple other sections are the basic garment grids. Um, these are just basically on flags if you have them or not. So you can just click them and yay, I have it. Or yay, I don't. I'm actually missing a lot in this save, so who knows. Hit add all, of course, and just be done with it. Uh, dress fears kind of the same we'll go back to accessories this one for whatever reason you can find more than one of um, and so what I did real quick let's see let's say okay I don't have psychic so I'm gonna click it one click and I'll turn it on but if you already have one on it you can just come in here and adjust the quantity if you want to I don't know why you'd want to like you only need one I don't know why the game lets you add more than one unless I totally am forgetting something about the game but add all dress fears 99 I'm all out it's fine some of these are weird, like, you get the special dress for your here, but these come with it. Uh, but the game technically says you don't own it, but it doesn't matter. It shows up in the save, so I display it. I don't know. And these extra trainers and extra mascots, I found out, I was really confused, I found um, the trainer and mascot are up here, but those are just Yuna's version. For some reason they have, um, and it's weird, because you saw it before, it said I didn't own them, but, like, when you equip trainer on Riku or Pain, it shows up as these numbers. So I just included that. I don't know. Just kind of weird. Probably a bad design in the game, but... Uh, and then there's accessories just like items. You've got all your accessories and uh, they've got all the game images, of course. Same thing about, like, just going in here and increase your quantity and whatever you want. I don't know why that says nothing. I think I was playing with this game save a little too much. <laughs> I just say I want Enterprise, and oh, I have two of those, so that wouldn't make sense. But anyway, at all, just get 99 of them. So it's pretty sweet. And then, uh, of course, there's just saving your game. Um, I click Save As, so you can just write it to another file. It'll do the checksum for you, and um, right now I think it'll, it'll work for the PC save and the PS3 save, like my other applications. Um, I could probably go back and do the PS2, but... I'm guessing no one will actually use this for the PS2 save, so it might take me a while to actually get around to doing that or getting the motivation for it. But yeah, anyway, let me know what you guys think, and uh, you WPF gurus can totally help me out. Like this is uh, this was a learning experience for me, and let me tell you, the I started and like the code I wrote was bad. I don't mean the code, but maybe the XAML, like the design, was just awful. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know how to do any binding or reusing anything or templates or anything. So it was just awful. Like I think when I did the items, <clears throat> each one of these elements was like a uh, hard-coded like element on the page. Like I think they're grids. I didn't even use a stack panel here. Like these two things could be stack panels, but I didn't even do that. I just had individual grids with images. I think this is just an image, but these are all grids with you know your image, your icon, text, and other text. But like they were all hard-coded. You know, like this is like text item one or grid item one, whatever, grid item two, grid item three. And then of course they all fly in. Totally didn't know what I was doing. Had this stupid thing where like I scroll down one and these are all the same elements, still item one, item two, item three. I just <laughs> pull the game save data and set item one to actually be item three. It was really stupid. I like, I could totally go back and fix some of this crap. But like as I progress, I started to get better. And I started to reuse things like this whole Oh crap, of course now it's gone. That whole tree view um, just follows a template and everything's bound to it so it looks great. 
uh, encode in and in, in the actual output, obviously. But um, I think I think this was kind of the same as items. Anyway, there's a lot of improvement to go on it, and I've learned like a lot, like just looking up random stuff while I was doing this. But if I gave this to any WPF guru, I know they'll just be like, "What the hell is with some of this code?" Uh, which is fine. I didn't know what I was doing, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm going to keep working on this thing. Eventually it'll be completely done the way I want it. I'm going to get the mini games um, and side quests done. I want abilities. I, I don't know. I'm not going to worry too much about the abilities. I'll just have like a quick edit per job class or whatever. I don't think I'm going to individually let you turn them on and off because I don't know why you'd want to do that. Maybe not. I don't know. Depends how lazy I am. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. All right. Catch you later.